I want to talk with you about one of the greatest gifts that you have from God, and that is your human mind and the vastness of its genius, of its potential. You know, uh, you're going to hear some surprising things from me today because basically we're a computer ministry. Positive Christianity, even the initials say PC, which 20 years ago meant personal computer. And we do come through your personal computer every day. But if you've heard me talk, I've said many times there is nothing as dumb as a computer. You know, if, if I have one thing, or if you have one thing wrong in your email address, if you leave out a, a period or have a different letter than you're supposed to have, something will never reach you. It will go into the black hole. The computer does not have the computing capacity of a human brain to look at that and realize that it's wrong. Uh, for instance, uh, .com, if you put C-O-N, con, or, or another variation of that, it'll go into oblivion. It will never be found. Whereas if you had a, a postman or a postwoman uh, look at the mail, they would realize the mistake and hopefully deliver it to the right place. Well, let me give you an example. Our post office box we've had for over 20 years. Recently, they bragged that they put in a computer system to help the mail more efficiently reach its destination. Well, <laughs> the computer literally couldn't find our post office box in the same post office. So it became such a problem as they returned mail that they changed the address for, for 20 years. We were grandfathered in with the address of 77380, but the computer couldn't figure that out. They would send it back, no such street address found. And even though it was only a couple feet away, it couldn't find it. So it sent it back across the country or across the world to the sender. And so they recently changed the um, uh, address for uh, post office boxes to 77387. And uh, that will tell the computer uh, in the right way that it can uh, uh, understand that the post office box is five feet away. <laughs> There's a television commercial of, of a, a Watson, and Watson is saying that this elevator needs to be repaired, and, and uh, everybody's standing around and thinking, does this really need to be done? Well, between you and me, I wouldn't get on that elevator. Uh, I would stay away until a human being looked at it. See, your human mind is one of the greatest gifts of God to you. It is vast in what it can learn. It's vast in, in what it can comprehend, in what it can understand, in, in its problem-solving abilities. And the human mind also is not alone. You know, in, in computer world, we now have the cloud, where, you know, if you, well, like with my new iPhone, that I have, my iPhone 10. If I'm talking to it and ask it a question, uh, Siri will come through and it will uh, uh, give me the best possible answer from the cloud. Well, your human mind has the same, but the cloud is God, not, not another computer. I recently asked Siri to take me to a Domino's pizza in a distant town. It, not making up this story, it took me to a funeral home that began with a D. Now, I, I suppose if I ate enough of that pizza, I'd end up at that same place anyway. But uh, it just, it didn't understand. And no matter how many times I talked with Siri, it kept routing me to the same place. Well, when you talk to God and ask for divine ideas to come through your human mind, they'll come through. 
Now, sometimes it will take a while because sometimes we're so tense where we have to relax uh, and then we receive the answer. In the Bible, it says that peace precedes all healing. What well, precedes all of the divine ideas, all of God's solutions that we want in our life. We have to relax. Often you'll pray for something and you won't get the answer because you're worried or you're tense. And then later on, when you're walking or relaxing, boom, the answer clearly appears in your mind. And that divine idea is something that is right the first time and it's right every time. Well, I pray that you are in filled with divine ideas. I pray that you realize the limitless gift that you have of mind. The worst thing that a human being can say is to define themselves as a dummy or as somebody that doesn't understand. You're not only limiting you, you're limiting God. You have to allow God to come through for the expansive mind to expand in you so that you are able to learn new ways, new concepts, and new solutions to daily life. I pray that your human mind is constantly expanding, constantly learning new ideas, and that you're becoming better, smarter, and more well-equipped intellectually to meet your daily needs, and that you have God's help in doing so, moment by moment.